Here's Jake Johansson. Wow, Thank, thanks very much. Um, I weigh about 175 pounds. <laughs> I feel, when Dave gets back, you guys are in trouble. Um, I, feel, I feel pretty good. I've, I've, well, actually, I've been uh, drinking a lot of coffee today. Because um, the, uh, there's one right across, there's a Starbucks right across from the hotel, which is not, I mean, they're right across from everywhere now. Um, they're actually right across from each other, some places where you, I don't know what's going on there. Are they inside there? Like, we're gonna put those jerks out of business. You know? <laughs> Yeah, someone should tell them, they are us, we're them. Because um, I don't know what their plan is. My theory is that they, they actually want to have them all connected by a big pipe. Um, right, from Seattle. And then first they're going to connect them, and then they're going to run it right up into your house. So you've got the hot, cold, and Starbucks right in the house with a little meter that rolls around so you can tell what your bill is. You know, you come home, who took a bath in the Starbucks? Um, well, they're up to, I just, I know they're up to something, and I think it's, there, there's some kind of mind control going on with the, the size thing, where they, have you been in there? They don't have the small, medium, and large. To them, small is tall. <laughs> tall doesn't mean small. Uh, we all know that, but once they get you saying tall, when you really mean small, you're, it's over. They own you. <laughs> you know, you would never say, oh, that's a very tall baby that you have. <laughs> But, and the way, right, well they, they, they kind of can wheeze, there is a size smaller than, than tall, which is that short size, but that's not really even a size. I don't know if you ever accidentally got the short, it's like, just like a Dixie cup of, yeah, that's coffee, I'll have some, you know. It'd be like if they started charging you for the little spoon of ice cream that they give you, you know, like that's a size now. Um, so. Yeah, they're up to something. So they, they got t small is tall, and then medium is grande. I don't speak Spanish, but I am, I'm pretty sure that grande does not mean medium. Um, and then when you finally get to, their, to them, large to them is vente, which, you know, so they have to use three languages to say small, medium, and large, and they all mean big. So, yeah. So, so they're, they're trying to draw you into their web, you know, and, and you go there, because, I mean, let's face it, we, I know the argument, they're terrible coffee Nazis and they're taking over the universe, but, you know, it's pretty good coffee. Um, so I don't mind that, but, you know, they've got, and the coffee, they sell you the coffee, then they also want to sell you the, the uh, they have the whole pro shop in there. <laughs> of, so, yeah, so you can actually open your own Starbucks right in your house, so, you know, maybe, yelling back and forth to your wife, he get tall, not fat latte. <laughs> that's the other, thing. yeah. Which, that's what I'm saying, is don't, I know what they want me to say, large, to, I, I, grande, I say, I'm a small, medium, and large, you have to fight the power, that's what I'm talking about, first of all. And then, and mix up the order, because that, because you don't have to say it in their order. They want you to say it that way, because they have to say it that way. So if you say it wrong, the guy's like, <laughs> to be able to yell it. It's like a submarine in there with all the yelling back and forth. Um, the, the, but the coffee I understand, the pro shop I even understand, but then when they started selling music in there, what does that have to do with it, you know? I mean, you're listening to that music while you buy the coffee and now they want to sell you the, like, this is my coffee drinking music. I, you, it's, it's nice in a car, but really it's mostly for coffee. Um, <laughs> Right, they're trying to get control of all of our holes, and uh, they've got to be stopped before it's too late.